With barely 19 days to go, millions of Somalis are yet to find an alternative money transfer service to receive financial support from relatives abroad should Barclays make good their plan to close several money transfer accounts used in Somalia. The bank wants to disassociate itself from any system that could be used to finance terrorist activity in the country that is just lifting itself from years of war and a piracy-ridden coast along the Indian Ocean. But why look for an alternative, maintain users of the service, when, according to them, there is nothing wrong with the service mostly rendered through the hub shield in Somalia? We are licensed in the UK. We have never been accused. We have never been charged anything against the law of the UK. And, and we are fully compliant with the UK regulations. And we are happy to do anything the UK government requires to us. Forums have been going on in Somalia, London, and this one in Nairobi, all of them piling pressure on Barclays headquarters in London to rescind its decision. Here, they argue that the bank has been opaque on reasons behind the closure and risks triggering a surge of underground money transfer services that would be a bigger risk to the world economy. Alternatively, international banks may need to recognize Somalia's underdeveloped banking system to allow Somalis an avenue to receive financing. Somali migrants around the world sent approximately $1.3 billion to friends and families at home every year, dwarfing humanitarian aid to Somalia. We deal with up to 300,000 people live in the UK, and so the, all of these who are British citizens, Somali British citizens, like me, I live in the UK, I'm a British citizen, and I want to help my family. So we're asking the UK government to get involved, find a permanent solution. A meeting is scheduled for Monday between Barclays, Dahab Shield, Britain's Department for International Development, DFID, and other aid agencies, where they hope that the bank can extend its deadline to close the accounts for another 12 months to allow a solution to be found. Samuel Kantai, CCTV.